So, Brendan, was this as a party in aid of the women tree when, when it all began as a, a chance for Mr. Kenley to come and take a look over those first editions? Well, then it turned out that Charlie was off, off at a concert at Oxford tonight, so we're going up to prepare. And I thought we'd have a little celebration for Charlie. You always did stutter a little when you got excited, Brandon. <coughs> Suppose I'm always excited when I give a party. Mr. Cadell, I brought that favourite cafe you like. I don't like it anymore. Oh. <laughs> Only teasing. Oh, you are awful, Mr. Cadell. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. What do we have here, then?
by luck, won't you? And David, how's he been? Heard he's been pretty tied up recently. Oh, me? He's still very much in idle status at the moment. Like you two, in fact. Wonder where he is. I would have thought he may have been here by now. Maybe he's gone back home before coming here. Maybe. Who is David? David, he's my son. He's 20. A good friend of Brandon and Charles. I know David. His picture was in the paper recently, wasn't it? Winning the high jump at the local sports event. Quite the hero. He must be proud. Yes, he's a good lad. Yes, I remember it well. There's a picture of me next to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Not for winning the high jump, though. Yes, David's quite sprightly, isn't he? Yeah, Brandon reckons I would like him as David. Yes, he is quite like you, come to mention it. Quite alike, really. In, in what way is he like me? Oh, I don't know. Just in general youthfulness. Oh, and innocence and freshness. You could be the next phase of Nesca. Yeah, oh, you <laughs> shut up, Brandon! <laughs> of course, David is the most infantile thing in the world. I honestly believe his only passion in the holidays is the movies. When I saw him at lunch, he was about to rush off to the cinema. Some Tom Hanks movie about a boy in a man's body. How very appropriate. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> so, which cinema did he go to? Oh, same place as usual. The Odeon in Leicester Square. Do you ever go there? Apparently, it's quite good. Uh, no, I've never been there. You should go. You know, an interesting breed of people go there. I sometimes find the people more entertaining than the films. <laughs> you mean to tell me you've never been to the Odeon in Leicester Square? No, never. Why? Is that so? Then why? You've never been to the Odeon? Yes. Why? Why should you think that I have? Merely the hawk-like sharpness of my vision? Why is it such a crime never to have been to the Odeon? I don't expect it's a crime. If it is, I'm afraid I'm guilty too. I just thought that Charles, by the mere look of him, is not the sort of person to have never been to the Odeon. Well, well I've never been there. But, but David has been to the Odeon anyway. That's right. You know, I'm beginning to suspect there's an ulterior motive to this chess thing. What do you mean, ulterior motive? You mean it's done purely to make poor Rupert spill things all over his trousers? <laughs> More than likely. Ah, oh, no. I think it's much worse than that. I think they've been committing murder. And it's simply chock full of rotting bones. Just the sort of thing for rotting bones, don't you reckon? Oh. Yes, it is, yes. That's what I think. You're right, Layla. I wouldn't let you look in there over my dead body. I'm sure you wouldn't. And it's all very well you trying to bluff me out and pretend that you're willing to let me see. But that's just what I said I wouldn't do. I have my suspicions. <laughs> well, what a wonderful idea! But surely your murderer, having chopped up and concealed his victim in a chest, wouldn't invite all his friends around to come and eat off of this? <laughs> Not unless he's a very stupid very conceited, Mandra. Very stupid and very conceited. Which, of course, you might be. Well, in fact, it's all what all criminals are. I don't think so. Don would not have used to work. Have you ever seen that new play, The Lesbian, Dangerous Dangerous? Oh, I saw that last week. It's got uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, hasn't it? Oh, yes, that's the one. Oh, it was so inspiring. An unscrupulous woman manipulates the lives of those around her just for her own amusement. <laughs> I wasn't too keen on Keanu Reeves, though. Appalling actor. No, he wasn't much good, but it was a good film, though, wasn't it? 